Hello YouTube viewers, this is Collector513 with another collection video. This collection video is of my Jet Li collection. Jet Li is my favorite martial arts actor. Um, he's my favorite, I love him. I have a lot of his films. These are in chronological order. From his earliest films to his latest films. Um, I feel he fell off the map because of his age. He is getting old. So. Uh, he doesn't move the way he used to. And he's not as fast as he used to be. When he was you know younger. So. Uh, I feel that's why he fell off. Well, let's get started guys. The first film I have of his is Born to Defense. And this is part of the Jet Li collection, as you can see. Once Upon a Time in China. As I said, this is from the earliest to the latest. Once Upon a Time in China 2. The Master, this is part of the Jet Li collection. And the Jet Li collection has these really cool um, side bindings. This is not, uh, again part of the Jet Li collection. The Legend of the Swordsman. And for my Chinese viewers, if there's anybody in China Viewing these uh, videos, these titles are different in China. They're very different. This is part of the Jet Li collection as well. Twin Warriors. Part of the Jet Li collection. Jet Li, uh, the legend. The Legend 2. The Evil Cult. Once Upon a Time in China 3. The Defender. Now in China, I think this is called the Bodyguard. I think it's called the Bodyguard. Because he's protecting that girl right there. He is her bodyguard. He's protecting her. So I think it's called that in China. Fist of Legend. Red Dragon. Meltdown. The Enforcer. Black Mask. This is the very first film I've ever seen with Jelly in it. I didn't know who he was or anything. I, I started liking him after watching that movie. Dr. Way in the scriptures with no words. This is named something different in China as well. Contract Killer. This is the second movie I saw with Jet Li in it. Lead the Weapon 4. And he was a villain in here. I was upset about that. As I liked him from the first time I seen him. But then I seen him die in that one. <laughs> Romeo Must Die.
the one. Kiss of the dragon. Hero. This is a slip cover. Cradle to Rave with Neomax. Rest in peace. Love Neomax. Unleashed. So it cover as well. Fearless. War. The Forbidden Kingdom. The Money. Tomb of the Dragon Emperor. He was a villain in here too. I think this is the only drama with Jet Li in it. Ocean Heaven, sorry. I was reading a notification I just received on my PlayStation. It was a notification. The Expendables. The Sorcerer and the White Snake. Flying Swords of Dragon Gate. Expendables 2. And last but not least, last one I have for Jet Li's, Badges of Fury. This doesn't mean that this was his last film he acted in. As you can see, he's aging, as you can see. Uh, he looks old. But, um, his last film was Mulan. I do not have Mulan, and I have not seen Mulan to get Mulan and add that to my collection, actually. Uh, yeah, I don't have that. But, um, that is my Jet Li collection here. All my films right here. Um, yes, guys, thank you again for uh, viewing, and thank you uh, for uh, subscribing. I got a lot of new subscribers. I appreciate it very much. As I said, it's a little difficult doing these videos because I work a lot spend time with my son and you know it's hard to juggle those three things work you know videos and being a dad you know so uh thank you all for uh, appreciating and being you know i mean awesome viewers of my videos thank you guys just so much please subscribe please like please share my videos comment as much as you want to uh tell me on the bottom of the comments you know what is your favorite jet league film mine i would have to say cradle to gray because him and dmx did a great uh they were a great duo in that film i like that film cradle, cradle to gray was my favorite um, Jet Li movie of all time this is my number one. What is your favorite Jet Li movie? What is yours? Tell me in the comments. Collector 513 out.